Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get an extremely powerful firearm in Bloodborne, the cannon. Now we're going to be starting off by the first lamp in the Forbidden Woods. There is a shortcut here. If you've already opened up the shortcut, this will only take you like two minutes to go and get this weapon if you missed it. But I'm going to be showing how to do it the normal way, just in case anyone doesn't have the shortcut. Or they're just getting here and they're like, I don't want to miss this weapon here. Anyway, we're going to run past all these enemies, and eventually we're going to get to an area where you will fall down. Once you get there, you need to just go on the right side of this, like, village. You'll see it in the video as I do it. But the cannon is a really great weapon. Now, some people might not like it because there's certain things about it that is kind of iffy. But I think it's excellent, especially the way I like to play. I don't really do a lot of gun parries, so I like to use my firearm just for damage. And the cannon is the best way to go if that's what you like to do. You know that you're going the right way if you are running up here. And remember, you have to run through the water. But there is a guy on a cannon. Now, this is not the weapon, obviously, but we're going to quickly kill him. And then we're just going to go for it. There is a building right here, and you will see an item on the top. So that means that we can get up there, and that is where the cannon is going to be. Not on the roof, but in that area. Anyway, there's going to be a guy over here. I'm going to kill him just to get him out the way. These guys are pretty OP. And yeah, he's dead. Now I'm going to show you how to get to the shortcut from here. You just drop down, and then you will have to cross a bridge coming up. And there's going to be another one of those guys with the snakes out of the head. So we're going to kill him real quick as well. If he hits you though, he will do a lot of damage. So this guy can kill you super, super quick. Be careful against those guys. Anyway, there is a hill on the right here. And this will lead to an elevator. And if you take the elevator down, you can open up that shortcut. And anytime you want to come back and forth, you just go through the door. And then you will, boom, go up the elevator and you will be right here. Now in the building though is where we will find where the cannon is actually at. And it might seem like it's very obvious. But I ran right past this the first time I ran through here, and I'm sure there's going to be other people that might have missed it as well. Anyway, if you run out here, you need to drop down, and once you drop down, there will be a ladder you have to climb up. Now, I think that the cannon will be good in PvP. Some people might disagree with me because it requires you to shoot 10 bullets every time you fire it. But you can use like your emergency bullets to save you 5 bullets. And there's some different things you could do to carry more bullets. So I don't think that's going to be too much of a problem. But the one thing about the cannon I really like is that it will help you punish people for healing. A lot of times in PvP, people are going to heal. And if they back off and try to heal, if you have the cannon as maybe a secondary weapon, bust that out as a surprise and blast them. And it might kill them too. So I think that's an excellent strategy. And that's what I'm going to be trying to do on my build. Anyway, there's some items here. There's like some poison knives. Also, there is an NPC on this roof. I did not know about this guy at first because he's kind of hidden. He's right there where I'm looking right now. So if you want to talk to that NPC, go and talk to him. If you missed him, this is another reason to come back here. Anyway, the can is going to be right down there. You need to drop off one of these gears and you could go ahead and pick it up. Now, I will be demonstrating the can just to show you what it can do. It hits really hard, and mine's not even leveled up all that far. I think I had it at like plus 4 in this video when I'm showing it off. But I would imagine at plus 10, this thing's going to hit like a truck. It already hits like a truck. And it has AoE. So if there's like two guys coming at you, just blast them. I mean, this is just great fun to just murder multiple enemies. Now, these are the best clips right here. Just blast four or five enemies at a time. And like I said, I think that it's going to be really good for just punishing people for healing. If they try to back off and heal, you should be able to quickly pull it out and just blast them. Alright guys, well that's going to pretty much do it for me. I really hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to subscribe. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and poo so.